Dear students, today I am here with the poem The Kite. Day for yesterday, we dealt with the chapter The Gift of Chapels. And I am sure you have enjoyed reading the chapter. Dear students, have you completed the chapter The Gift of Chapels in your copy? Have you completed your exercises? If not, kindly complete the exercises. Now let's read the poem. It's a very familiar to every student. The kite. Have you seen a kite students? Do you fly kites? What difficulties do you face when you fly kites? Have you lost your kite sometimes? I am very sure you have answers to all these questions. Before we read, let's know something about the poet. Who has written the kite? It's written by Harry Ben. Harry Ben was an American screenwriter and children's author. He was involved in writing scenes and continuities for a number of screenplays including the war film The Big Parade in 1925 and Hell's Angels. He graduated from Harvard University in 1922. Now let's read the poem. The Kite How bright on the blue is a kite when it's new. With a dive and a dip, it snaps its tail. Here dive and dip means to make the movements in the sky snaps cracking sound the poet says a kite looks bright on a clear sky when it flies for the first time it moves with softness and force together at the same time to fly makes its tail create a cracking sound in the air then soars like a ship with only a sail as over tides of wind it climbs to the crest of a gust and pulls then seems to rest as wind falls here soars means fly high and climb you all of you know to go up crest the mountain top such moves help it to float in the sky just waves rising and falling with a sudden blow of the winds it goes up to the highest point in the sky in a wavy manner the way a ship moves on the ocean but as soon as the wind slows down it seems as if it has stopped there to rest when string goes slack you wind it back and run until a new breeze blows and its wings fill and up it goes when the thread tied to the kite loosens, the fly runs and rolls it back. He waits till a new breeze blows again and fills its wings with air again to help it fly high. You have flown the kite so you know what to do 
when the ring the string loosens how bright on the blue is a kite when it's new but a ra ragged thing you never will see when it flaps on a string in the top of a tree a kite looks very bright and beautiful on a clear sky but when it gets struck on a tree top it gets torn and gives a poor worn out look which is not liked by anyone you know when you fly the kite and it gets stuck on the top of a tree it is worn out and after you bring it back from the tree nobody likes the way it looks this is all about the poem dear students you can read it again and try to answer the questions given below thank you dear students